Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In this WordPress video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest update to Visual Composer and what new features this offers us in this fantastic visual editor when creating WordPress pages. So let's take a look at some of those new features now. So what we're going to do first of all is just add a new element to our page so we can take a look at some of the new options and the new styling that's been applied to the new, this plugin update. So I'm just going to create a new text block and I'm just going to click to edit that. And as you can see, we now have a fully resizable interface, which is a fantastic addition to this piece of software. Now, if you're like me, you work with double screens or you work with large monitors, the ability to expand this out when you're working with large amounts of text has become kind of invaluable. So there's the first option that's been updated along with a more unified and professional look. You'll also notice in the top right hand corner of this window we now have a settings icon. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to save all the settings we apply to this as a preset or we can alternatively set it as a default. So let's just say for example that we come into our design options and we specify a particular border color. We go in and set a border radius set a background color and we'll just set some information in here. So we set a two pixel border, we set a margin at the top of 20 pixels and a margin at the bottom of 20 pixels and we'll just set our border all the way around. What we can do now is click Say this is a preset, give it a name, and save the changes. So now I can come in and create a new text block. And I can now assign that preset to it. So if we take a look at the design option, all the settings that I set up and saved as this preset have now been applied to this particular text block. As I said, alternatively, you could set this as a default so every single time you created a text block, it would pick up all of these parameters that we've just now set in there. That's gonna be something that's gonna save lots of time if you're creating slightly modified custom elements again and again and again. So that's a great way, especially if you can link that in with the ability to save templates and you get a very quick, versatile way of creating complicated page layouts with minimal effort. While we're on the subject of templates, one of the additions to this latest version of Visual Composer is over 20 new predefined layouts that you can call up at any time and use in your designs. So again, another fantastic time-saving feature. So let's just say you want a video with a description, click that. That'll create the page layout for us. Close this down. And there's our page layout. So let's just get rid of the two that I put up there. As you can see, we've now got quite a complicated layout already created for us with one of the predefined layouts. Again, a fantastic time saver. So one of the next things that they've updated in this latest update of Visual Composer is a more unified way of working with images. So if we go into add element and go to single image, we're gonna find we have the same interface with the same set as between the single image settings and any of the gallery settings, which makes working with these different elements much quicker and easier. We've also got the ability to select external sources. So we're no longer just limited to using the media library or the featured image for a particular post. We can now use external images. So we can just choose that as an option, put the link in there, set the size, any captions and things that we want, and it'll pull it in from that external source. We've also got the ability now to create or add captions to our images, which is gonna improve the SEO for any of your images on the site or galleries. So you can just simply check the yes for the add a caption, and what that'll do is that'll take the caption that's been predefined when you've added the meta tag information on any of your images in the media library. So you can see that we can come in, set a caption, 
and that will be used then within the new gallery section. Most of the other options in there are pretty pretty much the same as before. Again, we can create defaults and presets for this particular element, which again was going to save us a load of time. So if we come in and check out the image gallery, we're going to find we have a very similar interface with the ability to choose all the different options. Again, we can choose external options and the media library, and we can uh, we can set all the normal parameters in there. So again, another great time-saving feature. And finally, if we just come back into one of these elements, we're going to find now that every single element or every single widget in Visual Composer now has the ability to have design options applied to it. Before, you used to find that most of the, the widgets had design options, but there were certain ones that didn't have this available. Now that's become a global addition. You can also do things like applying border radius. So if you want to get a bit more creative, so you want to get rounded corners on any elements you may put on there, you can now apply that to every single element that's available inside Visual Composer. You've also got a range of predefined figures, which is quick and easy. Well, this covers most of the noticeable updates and changes to the Visual Composer. There are lots of little things that have gone underneath the hood, tweaks, adjustments, edits, and things like that, that generally speed up the overall use of Visual Composer. Now, if you're new to Visual Composer, I recommend taking a look at my introduction uh, video. That's gonna give you a good overview of how the Visual Composer works within your WordPress environment and how it can speed up your development of your websites in creating complicated page layouts very quickly and easily in an intuitive manner. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the like button on all helps. If you've got any ideas for future videos or any comments on this video, please leave those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.